Voiceflow agents just got supercharged with MCP, which means your agent can access thousands of external tools. And all you need to do is give the agent the instructions for how to use them in plain language. No data formatting, no complex setup. And I'm gonna show you how useful MCP is by building a simple appointment booker. Automating something like appointments is key if your business revolves around scheduling clients or customers, like if you were an agency or a real estate firm. But first, subscribe for more builds, and if you wanna follow along, click the link below to start your own journey building in VoiceFlow for free. Now, let's jump in. Welcome back to the VoiceFlow Canvas. Before we get into the step-by-step -step build along, I'm just gonna show you what's going on here on a high level. The entirety of the booking functionality comes down to three simple actions. The agent has access to my Google Calendar so it finds events in my schedule and checks for conflicts. The agent is able to add events with a description and a time. And for a little cherry on top, the agent will send me a personal Slack message with a summary of the user conversation after they book the appointment. And this is the beauty of MCP. To make these three tools work in my instructions, I just wrote down a checklist of things to do in plain language for the agent. And I'm not even doing any special tricks with the tools themselves. These are just the base settings. And there is so much more that you'd be able to do yourself. Just get creative. All right, get ready to follow along with me from scratch. Whenever I have a use case that relies on time, and this one does, it's an appointment scheduler. The first block that I add is always the same. If you go down to dev and then API, all we're gonna do is hit a tool over the internet that's going to give us the current time in our time zone. And it's literally just this URL. Obviously you can change the time zone to whichever one you need, but this is it, no headers, no parameters. This is gonna be the format of the data that the API returns. And all I want is this piece of text. By the way, for a quick recap of using AI, out of the box, by default, large language models don't have access to the current time. So it's up to you to put a tool like this at the beginning of your conversation flow so that every time that your agent's activated, either by web chat or by call, it's given the current time. In this case, this entire package of data is the response object. And then within that, if you follow the trail from response to formatted to full, that's how you get what we want. So that's exactly what I'm gonna put here. Response.formatted.full. Now, one other thing is the way that information gets passed between blocks, in this case, from our API to our agent, is through voice flow variables. So let's make one quickly. If I go to content and then variables. Now, I already made one when I was testing this, but all you would do is press new variable and then write formatted date time or whatever you want. Create the variable, maybe give it a cool color if you really want to. And then the variable is ready to be used in your project. So back in my workflow, I'm going to capture response and then save to the variable formatted date time. Now that may have seemed complex, but genuinely I do this exact same process every time I start a new project that requires time. So the next time you need one, you just copy and paste. Now for the exciting part, we're adding an AI agent. Now I'm gonna breeze through the setup of AI agents pretty quickly because I wanna to get to MCP tools fast. But if you're interested in a more in-depth primer on AI agents in VoiceFlow, there's a fantastic video linked probably right here that you can reference. So open that up, create a new agent. We're doing this from scratch. So I'm just gonna copy the instructions from my test agent that I already know work because you truly do not need to see me write all that out again. But don't worry, I'll take you through this step by step. I did not do anything fancy here. Their role is just to be an AI agent appointment booker for my fake company. Persona, also straightforward. I'm just making the AI agent talk super casually because I want this to work over voice. And also because at the end of this video, I'm gonna call it myself and we're gonna test it in real time. This is where our API call for the formatted date and time comes in super useful. Because if the AI agent knows what day and time it is right now, it could, for example, parse information from a user over the phone saying, let's book an appointment this afternoon or tomorrow or next Tuesday. In this section, I'm just making it extremely clear how an email address sounds over the phone. So the agent doesn't get tripped up on things like an at symbol or a period, which people would usually pronounce as dot. And now for the moment that you've been waiting for MCP server tools. To actually book an appointment, the agent will ask for the user's preferred date and time. Check to make sure that this fits in with our allowed timeframes. And if it does, we're going to check my Google calendar to see if there is currently a scheduled appointment at that time, because I'm not trying to double book. Now we can get into how the MCP tool works. When you open up the tool, you'll have a list of all the servers that you've already connected to. Now I've already connected to one for this demo, but let's just pretend that I have. To add a new server, all you need to do is give it a name and that can be anything you want and the URL where the server is hosted. Now, this is not a video on what MCP servers are or how they work. All you need to know for now is that to use an MCP tool, the server has to be accessible by URL somewhere on the internet. Now, I'm gonna show you one of the easiest ways to get started with this and then point you in the direction of other ways to do this because there is an entire world of MCP servers to explore. What I would recommend is getting started on an automation platform like Zapier. Simply because they have access to 8,000 plus apps, it's very easy to get started and it's 
it's a perfect sandbox to start playing around with this. What you're going to do is add new MCP server. Select client other, and you can call this whatever you want. Create. This is what I mean by the sheer power of MCP. Anything that you can think of making with them, you probably can. For right now, we're gonna add our first Google Calendar tool. Remember, in our flow, the first thing that happens is the agent uses a find events tool to see if there's any conflicting scheduling problems. So let's just add that tool. Then you have to connect your account and then decide how much control you wanna give AI in selecting all of these fields that the tool can use. For this one, I'm gonna set a specific value for the calendar because I know it's gonna be my own personal one. I don't care about sort order or expand recurring events, search term, start time before, end time after. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. Then go over to connect tab, server URL, copy the URL, and back to our MCP agent, where we're going to just paste in the server URL. Oh, I forgot what the name. <laughs> okay, horrendous naming convention, whatever. Once you connect the MCP server, you'll find a list of all the tools that you can use. Obviously, in our case, we just have one, and that's fine events. That was all that we need to do to make this work. There's no toggling buttons, there's nothing else, so just leave it. And to show you that this really works, I'm going to delete everything else, so we're only using that one tool, and run this agent just to make sure that everything is okay. All right, let's give it a test. Already going pretty well. Can I book appointments? And now we're in the booking appointment flow, as I outlined in the instructions. Let's just go September 29th, 12 p.m. And then it's gonna check to see if that is available. It's calling the MCP server tool. And it's perfect, it is free. To prove to you that it is free, I'll show you my calendar. There, 12 p.m. free, it did its job and it did it well. But just to make sure that the AI is not hallucinating here, let's stress test. I'm gonna try it again for 10 a.m., which obviously is busy. Can I book appointment? September 29th at 10 a.m. This shouldn't work. Actually, it should work, but it shouldn't allow me to do it. And this is perfect. Our find events tool or conflict checker is working properly. So now let's add a tool to go ahead and book an appointment. I'm just gonna add back in the rest of my existing instructions. And this just keeps on getting easier. Once you use the MCP tool once, it's the same every other time. If the user got far enough in the flow, now the agent's gonna ask them for their name, their email, and what they're hoping to discuss. And then we're using the Google Calendar quick add event. Back to Zapier. We're gonna add tool, Google Calendar, and quick add event. If we configure this, I'm gonna just set the specific value for the calendar that I wanna use, and AI is gonna figure out the rest. So add tool, MCP, use our new demo. You may have to refresh. And there is our quick add events. Same thing, this just works now, it's too easy. And I'm gonna save the demo of that for the final thing where I can show you the whole flow. The little cherry on top here is what to do when the conversation is over. So I'm gonna add an exit condition, and it's just gonna be end conversation. When do you call this exit condition? Exit when the user wants to end the conversation. And this is what we're gonna do. If the user did perform some kind of action in this conversation, in this case, book an appointment, the agent will prepare a summary of the conversation and send it to me over Slack personally. Now we can speed run this. Add tool, Slack, and then they got a lot of options here, but I want to send channel message. Obviously you have to connect your account, just do that. I created a channel for this test called Appointment Updates. And outside of message text, which you will want AI to generate, all these other values, just check them out and see what you wanna do. I'm gonna save that, back to MCP agent. Tools, MCP, demo, refresh, and just click the tool. I feel like I'm not getting across how much fun this is. I could genuinely be here all day testing different tools. And if you wanted to give it voice functionality, you would just go to interfaces, make sure you're in telephony, and then use Twilio to import a phone number. I'm not gonna cover how to do that. There's a video right here that you can watch. But I hear you asking, was this too good to be true? There's only one way to find out. Welcome to Maximilian & Co. This is Alexa speaking. How can I assist you? Hi, can I book an appointment? Of course, I'd be happy to help you book an appointment. When would you like to schedule it? Let's do tomorrow at noon. Let me check if tomorrow at noon is available for you. Perfect. Tomorrow at noon is available. Now, could you please tell me your name, email address, and what you'd like to discuss during the appointment? My name is Maximilian. My email is and I would like to discuss why the Oreo is the best cookie. Perfect. Let me book that appointment for you tomorrow at noon to discuss why the Oreo is the best cookie. Excellent. Your appointment has been successfully booked for tomorrow, September 29th at noon. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts on why Oreos are the best cookies. I can't wait.
I would like to direct your attention to my personal Slack channel, where in the appointment updates channel, I have an AI generated message that tells me the client email, date and time, topic, and the status. This doesn't have to be Slack. You can use whatever tool is currently in your stack to do analytics, track updates, just put information somewhere. Remember, there's 7,998 other apps to choose from just on Zapier's MCP service. Now, this takes me to next steps because there are many other places that you can go to for MCP service. Another option is mcp.so, which has just collected over 16,000 MCP servers for your use for free. The one thing to note is they're not necessarily directly hosted already with a URL. So if you wanted to use, for example, the Minimax MCP, you could visit the server on GitHub, clone this GitHub repository locally, and then host it to some URL yourself. In VoiceFlow, the only thing that would be different is you go to tools, MCP, add an MCP server, and then paste that URL right there. If you wanted to take this to the absolute final boss battle level, you could write your own MCP servers. The possibilities here are effectively endless and it's only going to continue to get more and more powerful. So now the ball is in your court. Maybe appointment booking is just one part of the functionality of your business. The MCP tool in VoiceFlow offers you so many ways to achieve your business goals and automate your processes. I can't wait to see what you build next. And if you're looking to get involved in the VoiceFlow community, check out our Discord link below. You can connect with other builders and be among the first to know about future updates and events. And with that, happy building.